Hey class, this is Mrs. Gillen here, and I am your sociology B instructor this quarter, and I am so excited to be with you. I love sociology. It's fascinating to learn why groups do what they do. And so I'm excited to, to teach you, and I'm excited to, to hear your insights and to learn what's going on in your great minds. Now, this is your first video assignment, so pay attention because at the end you'll be asked to, to go to our Google Classroom and answer a few questions. But before we get to that, I want to introduce myself a little bit. So I am, like I said, Mrs. Gilling, and these are some pictures of my family. So right here we have Ethan. He is my husband, and he is an onion farmer. And he's right in the middle of planting season, so things are, are pretty crazy right now, but it's really fun to to live kind of the farm life and to go up, drive out there and to, to see the onions as they grow. And, and the, the girls absolutely love their tractors, especially this one. This is Taylor. She is three years old. She's, she's our oldest and she is smart. This girl will talk a mile a minute and her favorite word right now is why. She wants to know why everything happens the way that it does and she doesn't stop if I don't give her the right answer. She goes like, mom, I don't think that's right. I don't think you know what you're talking about. So she's pretty great. We'll keep her around for sure. She's a really great helper. She loves to help her little sister, Skylar. Skylar is 18 months old now and she's a funny, 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 funny kid. And she doesn't know too many words, but the words that she knows are very important. So two of her favorite words are more and candy. So more candy, I'd say she's got life pretty figured out right now, especially for an 18 month year old. Uh, this right here, this is me. This is Mrs. Gilling. You'll see my face every so often on, on these video assignments. And if you ever come to a live office or have any questions, you might see it there too. But I graduated from BYU a few years ago in the social science teaching. And so that's so I can teach all those the social studies classes. And a fun fact about me is I can ride a unicycle. So there you go. Pretty cool. That's probably the coolest thing I can do. So these are the, the girls. One more fun picture here. They had a cool experience the other day. So we were sitting in the living room. It was Friday. And all of a sudden, Taylor, the three-year-old, goes, Mom, the Easter Bunny came. And I was like, I don't think so. I think you're a little crazy. And she goes, no, Mom, look, the Easter Bunny came. And sure enough, tacked to our, our window here was, a note saying that we'd been egged, which means that somebody had come to our yard and scattered a whole bunch of Easter eggs, filled the candy out there. And how cool is that, that somebody would take the time to do that for my two little girls? They thought that that was the coolest thing and magic was alive at our house that day. So this was them all ready to go out and collect their, their eggs that some nice person had scattered. So pretty cool, pretty cool story right there. There's actually one more member of our family I want you to meet. You ready? This is our standard poodle. Her real name's Heidi, but sometimes we call her Princess Poodle Pants. And a fun fact about Heidi is, although she's a poodle, and although poodles are supposed to be like fancy, prancy little dogs, she has a really bad habit. So her bad habit is that she'll go up to your face, kind of look at you, and then go, burp, right in your face. Super gross, but gives her some personality, I guess. And there you have it, Princess Poodle Pants. Well, if you have any questions about me and my family, feel free to, to let me know. We're pretty open books over here, and I'm more than willing to answer the questions that you've got. But let's go on to your course now, what you're here for, the things that you're going to do this unit in order to learn more about sociology and to pass this class. So here's your assignments. So first of all, you have your checkpoints. If you've ever taken any classes here with us at I Succeed, then you know what these are. They're found at the end of each lesson, and they help you review what you studied to make sure you understand. And it's really important that you take your time on these and you do your best, but you do get three attempts on them. So if on your first attempt, you only get 50%, do you think that you should stop there? No, don't stop at 50%. If you get 50%, it means you're not understanding the material. We're here to learn, right? So go back if you get 50% or if you don't get 100%, anything less than 100, go back and take it again. And if on your second attempt you got a little better, but you're still not at 100, go back and take it one more time. I want you to learn and I want you to do well. So please use all of your checkpoints if you need them. You'll also have discussions. They're worth 15%. And there's a discussion rubric that is found in our announcement. So please refer to that. And it's also at the beginning of each the, the discussion section of each unit. So I encourage you to refer to that often. But essentially, you're just going to answer the questions that are found in FlipSwitch, 
and you're going to do three to five sentences for each one. And they, they add up. 15% is a big deal. The cool part is I'll let you have as many attempts on those as you need as well. So if you turn in a discussion and you get less than 20 points, each one is worth 20 points, then I'll put kind of a note, a comment on your discussion. I'll say, hey, great start, but let me go back and focus on this section. Or look at this textbook reading before you answer again. And if you answer again, then I'll give you the additional points that you need to, to get up to that full 20 points for each one. So those are discussions. We also have exams. Um, there are the exams of the first five units, and there is a con they're just over the content, what you've, what you've been studying that unit. At the end of unit six, there's also a vocabulary exam, and that just goes over you know, different vocab throughout. And then you also have a final exam, and the final exams were 10%, and it is cumulative. That means it covers everything from lesson one to lesson six. The good news is, for your exams and your final exam, I am creating study guides for you. And I promise if you use those study guides, you will do a million times better. I don't know if you really do a million. I don't know if that's possible. But you'll do a lot better on the exams than you would if you didn't use the study guides. So use those. You can find those at the very beginning of each unit. And teacher notes, they'll be right next to the video assignment. So if you found this video, then you can probably find the, the exam study guides too. And if you can't, let me know, and I'll, I'll get you access to them. We also have, moving along for more assignments, you have projects. So there is a project at the end of each unit that you turn in. And the ones in Flip Switch are writing. They're writing projects. You write an essay. So I know that a lot of students don't like to write essays, that it's not the way that they show how they learn. But some students love to write essays. It's something that they would enjoy to do. They'd rather write an essay than take a test. And so here's what I've decided to do this this uh, quarter. Since I know a lot of students don't like to write essays and all of the assignments in Flip Switch for the projects are essays, I've decided to give you an option. So you can either choose to do the project that's in Flip Switch or you can choose to do the alternative projects that I'm uploading and putting into our Google Classroom. If you choose to do either one, it doesn't matter to me, you just have to do one. So either choose the, the video project or the project that you find in Google Classroom or choose the writing project. Don't do both of them. That's more work than you have to do. Just pick one of them. Doesn't matter to me. But if you could, just to help me, when you do complete one that's in Google Classroom, if you would go to the Flip Switch section, the project that's found in Flip Switch, and where are you supposed to turn that in? If you would just write at the bottom, I turned in the video project instead, or I turned in the project in Google Classroom, that would help me out a lot. That way I just can't keep track of it a little better. So different projects. Uh, it's just up to you which one you'd rather do. Another cool thing, I'm going to be making these videos every unit. So at the beginning of each unit, look for these videos because I will be explaining the two project options for you. So you can look at them and say, hmm, I think this time I'd rather write the essay or, oh, this time I'd rather do that video that's, that's in Flip Switch. It's totally up to you. Just uh, make sure that you're doing one of them and turning them in for, for credit because projects were 25%. That's a fourth of your grade. That's a pretty big deal. Just like with discussion posts, I allow you multiple attempts on these, though. So make sure you're working hard. But if you don't get the grades you like, turn it in again, and we'll, we'll see what we can do for you. And then last but not least, there's workbooks. Actually, I think there's one more after this. Uh, workbooks were 10%. They're questions that you answer throughout your lessons. There is no reason, zero reason at all, for you to get less than 100% on these. You have an unlimited number of attempts to get workbooks done. And it's really important that you get 100% because if you get 100% on the workbooks, it means you understand the material that you just studied. If you're not getting 100%, it means you need to go back and read again and take it over and over until you're getting 100. Please don't stop. So many students will just take these, get 10% and move on. That, that's no good. That means you don't understand it and you're throwing away your grade. So please just make sure that, that you're working hard on those and getting the 100%. Okay, this is last but not least. These are the video assignments, and they are worth 5% of your grade. So this right now is one of your video assignments. You're going to watch this, and at the end, you're going to go to our Google Classroom, and you're going to answer a few short questions about the video and turn it in, and you get points. It's super easy. The questions are things like, what's your name? Did you watch the video? What do you have to do for a unit project? Do you have any questions? It'll take you five minutes to, to answer that and turn it in. So please make sure to do those. All of my videos will go over the projects, and so they're just there to help you, 
And in order for me to know that you understand what the projects are, I really need you to turn in, turn in those assignments. If you don't know how to access the Google Classroom, please let me know. But you should have received an email saying that you've been added to the class and giving the information on how to get in. But again, if you're having troubles, just let me know and I can get you the code to get in. So any questions about any of the assignments at all, please let me know. I do have a live office hour on Thursdays from 8 to 9 p.m. And if that doesn't work out for you, you can let me know. We can try and schedule a different time to meet. Or I am available on Google Hangouts. You can, can add me on there. And if you have a quick question, I, I have it on my phone. So I'm usually pretty quick to get back to you. Or I'm always available by email. And give me a call. Shoot me a text. I mean, if Telegrams were still a thing, you'd probably do that too. But whatever whatever you got to do, I'm, I'm totally here and willing to help you be successful. But I think you'll find that, that sociology is a fun course, that it, it'll help you kind of understand the world around you more and understand the interactions that people have with each other, and you'll enjoy it a lot. To help you jump right in, I want to go into your project number one. So here's option number one. This is the one that's found in FlipSwitch. Write an essay analyzing how social stratification has affected your community. Consider its effects on community institutions such as neighborhoods, schools, and jobs. Provide detailed examples to support your analysis. So in a nutshell for this, you're going to write a five-paragraph essay with an introduction, three main points, and a conclusion. And your three main points are going to be, one, how has social stratification affected your neighbor? Your second paragraph, how has social stratification affected your schools? And number three, how has social stratification affected jobs in your community? And then you're going to end with a conclusion. As long as you do that, you're going to do awesome on your essay. Just make sure you're following all those prompts and doing what it says, providing detailed examples to support your analysis. So when you say Social stratification has affected my community. Explain how. What's going on in your community that shows social stratification? And you may not know what that means right now, but you will as you study Unit 1. And if you can't figure it out, let me know. But that's first option, your five-paragraph essay on social stratification. Option number two, you'll go into our Google Classroom, and you'll watch two different videos and fill out a worksheet that's associated with them. Video number one is called Deviance and Social, Con social Control. And video number two is called Social Stratification Crash, Crash Course Sociology number 21. Both these videos are awesome. This is about a 30 minute video that goes over why there's deviance in society and what it means, why it's important, what we can do to change it. That's, that's what that video is. And then I love these. You will see these throughout the course. They're essentially a group of people that come together and made videos over a whole bunch of honestly a whole bunch of different subjects, but for this class specifically for sociology. And they tell you in like 10 minutes or less all about a sociology term. So you'll walk away going, huh, it took me like 30 minutes to study that in the book and I barely understand it. And I watched this video for 10 minutes and wow, I totally understand social stratification. So you'll watch these two videos and then fill out a worksheet that goes along with them. It's a lot easier if you fill out the worksheet while you watch the video. The questions go pretty much in order. So you'll watch the first video, Deviance and Social Control, fill out the questions. At the end of that one, there's a short answer. It's like a one paragraph essay question that you'll answer. And then video, then you'll do the video number two, answer the questions and do another one short, short paragraph. So very straightforward. Just remember, you can find it in our Google Classroom. It's under unit project video, project number two, excuse me, in, in the Google Classrooms. And if you can't find that, definitely let me know. But now that you've watched this video, what I need you to do is go to that Google Classroom and complete your unit one video assignment. Again, very straightforward. It'll take you five minutes to complete, but it'll, it'll make a world of difference. And if you're having trouble getting in, let me know. But guys, I'm, I'm super excited to work with you this quarter to get to know you and to share with you what I know about sociology and to hear your insights as well. So good luck in my course and in your other courses. And I'll, as always, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys, and enjoy, enjoy the rest of your quarter.